Amazing. Um, I watched this woman transfer her, herself from six different characters from a six-year-old to a 50-year-old, and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm seeing myself on um, theater. I really want to see it on the screen, so I asked her to do it, so we did it. But then the process took, <laughs> but then, and it took four years to write this script. And um, after that, it was actually really important, as you speak more about it, like uh, in 2016, Trump was elected, and we thought it was really important to kind of include that as a, as a background of what we as Muslims go through every day in our lives. And so by that time, it was like 2016, 17, when he was elected, and um, we finalized the film um, script, and they were able to shoot. So we shot, then we ran out of money, <laughs> and then we raised money, shot again, edited for a year, shot again, edited for a year, then COVID hit, edited for another year, and here we are. <laughs> Hooray! That's a long journey, but it's not, it's not such an unusual one for filmmakers. So I need to know, Isa, who, who has the biggest lady balls here? I think I do. <laughs> and of course, you can probably tell looking at me that I'm not um, necessarily your target audience. But I, and everyone else, I think, is your target audience, right? Yeah, I mean, we actually definitely wrote this from the mainstream audience, which was you, to be honest. And then, um, <laughs> the wife. But um, I've actually been extremely surprised by the feedback from, obviously, our own communities. Um, usually our own communities don't enjoy our stuff <laughs> when we do it. So this has been really great because it's, it's impacted so many um, people from around, no matter what ethnic background they are. So it's been really great, because they can see themselves on screen, no matter what, because everybody wants love, life, and career. And they can laugh. I want to stop talking. <laughs> yes. yes, Isa and Selena, you can, you can also chime in on, on being, being the wonderful sister stars of this film. Wonderful. Woo! Did you talk a little about the casting. How did you? Oh my gosh, so the incredible Selena Qureshi, everyone. Yeah. yeah, so it's really funny. So we were, it's, casting process was so difficult. You guys, I wrote this, and in the play, I play all the characters, including Kala, the mom, you know, and I was like, maybe I'll pull like an Eddie Murphy and put on a little suit and play them. No, but then the man was like, no, I said, no, we're not gonna do that. So, <laughs> So we didn't, um, but then when we were writing for years, I was pretty sure I was going to play Amira. It's a character I love, she's really funny, I do comedy, that's my thing. She's built to be funny, whereas Sam is the serious, straight person, and all the characters around her are really funny. So um, we got when we got to casting, I was like, oh man, I just had this epiphany, I was like, man, my whole life, my entire career, I watch my TV reel, I'm either playing a, uh, you know, an uh, Arab person with an accent, I'm playing a South Asian with an accent, I'm speaking Urdu, I'm speaking Arabic, I'm always foreign, you know, because that's the box I get put in. And I was like, man, I don't want to put myself in that box. So we were like, let's, let's be really mindful and let's cast somebody who actually speaks that way, instead of asking an American actor to put on an accent. Um, and then we are amazing casting director. One of them is here, Mia Kusumano. She is amazing. I mean, Mia and Megan Rafferty went above and beyond, hired them for everything. I don't know how they found us. They found Khala, they found Lola Dave. And I was like, I have been in love with Lola my whole life, growing up, watching her play the mom and everything we've ever seen. Um, and you know, of course, Shana's Treasury and, and all the supporting cast. Uh, a lot of them are our friends from New York. New York actors were amazing, as you've seen. And then Selena, I have you to tell this story. Selena came in. I have a background with that too. <laughs> <I'll tell you. laughs> Selena came in to play Maya, who plays Shah, his like hot girlfriend. Oh wait, and can I just add that that day, I had to hype myself up in the mirror and I put on red lipstick and I put on boots and I was like, you are gonna go in and you are gonna be hot and you are gonna get this <laughs> role. <laughs> and then I went in. And then she came in and saw right through it. Yes. <laughs> and and actually it was Iman was like, Iman was like, oh my gosh, she'd be a really great Miriam. So we just gave her like on the spot these sides to read for Miriam and like she killed she it. Killed it. She, she killed was it. She was the only choice, right? Right. I was like, um, Selena, I need you to be awkward. She's like, I got it. <laughs> and she was like, really? <laughs> but I did, I walked out and I read the script and I went, oh, okay, they saw it right through me. Amazing, <laughs> great.
Because that's how you roll. <laughs> so, Roy, Paul, Anne, congratulations on this great film. Tell us, tell us quickly how you came aboard and why you decided to do that. So, um, I met Isa in about 2012, 2013. Um, I was trying to actually put together a women's talk show for the Pakistani um, audience here in America and also in Pakistan. But then I always tell a story, apparently the, the show was too intelligent uh, for the audiences because a lot of the talk shows are very like gossip and fashion, so that didn't end up happening. But I also went and saw Isa perform her play and had just loved it and always been following it. And so then Isa and Iman came to me right before, I think in... I think it was two weeks before. One was it two our, weeks? I thought it was like two days. It was like literally two weeks before and one of our investors literally ghosted us. And then we were like, oh my gosh, that was our biggest investor. We have to start filming in two more weeks. And we're like, who do I know? Who do I know? And I was like, I know Anne. I know Anne's interested in film. Yeah, we were so lucky. She came And then Anne was like, she read the script. She's like, yeah, let's do it. And I'm like, I know. What? And, and, she's and then she just film. pulled the strings every single day. Like, she's yeah. literally yeah. the exe best executive producer of life. Yeah. Just bring it through. You guys, we were going to film in. We were like in a film in New York City with zero plan. We didn't know where the actors were gonna change their clothes. We had no trailers, we had no money for them. And then Anne just like came in and like fixed everything. Yes. The angel investor we all need. Yes. And these two gentlemen, yes. Uh, hey, uh, see, I'm Paul Satachi. Uh For me, it was very simple because Iman and I went to film school together and we've been longtime collaborators. And I, I don't know, when was it? Like uh, maybe... 2006. Yeah, it's been a while. We're old. So old. <laughs> uh, but, but like basically one day, I, I live in LA, and a man goes, you need to go see this one woman play. It's so good, but I'm like, I don't really do this. Go! And so so I, I, I go, and I, it's Isa's uh, play, and I go like, it's really amazing. And then uh, two years or so later, she goes, Paul, I need you to produce, you know, uh, my movie. And I go, Okay, I'm not a producer, but like the project is so you know it's so compelling, and you know, and I and I can't say no to man. So like you know, so here I am, like you know, how many years later? So she gave you no choice. I, I, yes, I he loves. Which, you like how he acts? I'm just like yelling at him all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, actually, Paul was a, such a he helped from the script phase all the way through and kind of pulled everything through with the entire film since um, on year five. Yeah. And that's it. And, and then Paul and Roy. And Roy, yeah. Hi, I'm Roy. Um, I, I, I joined the latest. I think I'm the last person that joined the team. I have to say, yeah. I mean, the film is complete, and you're watching it today in large part because of Roy, our That's editor. That's not true. It, I it's mean, all of us. All of us, but Roy really pulled it through. Yeah. Actually, I'll, I'll thank you for that, but I'll also mirror that back to uh, our crew and some of our cast that are here. If you have a second, if you could stand up so we can all see you that yes, you're here. Yes, please do. Please. That'd be great. Thank you.